Hey, you guys. Welcome back to Source Fed Nerd. I'm Ross Everett. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. And we are here to talk to you guys today about Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Yeah. Stevie dove into the multiplayer. I took on the story mode. And here is what we think. Break! I'm going this way. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag comes to us from those guys over at Ubisoft or Ubisoft, depending on what part of Russia you want to say you're from. It's an Assassin's Creed game, guys. You kind of know what you're getting into. Except this time, no Desmond. Desmond went bye-bye in the last game, which if you haven't played it yet, reverse spoilers. Go back in time and pretend like you never heard that. You never know. We jump right into the game. We're on a pirate ship and we're floating around on an ocean. Something that everybody loved from Assassin's Creed 3. So they were like, let's just do that a lot in Assassin's Creed 4. Turns out it's awesome. My immediate reaction was like, this is like Assassin's Creed if he played in Donkey Kong. And it was just like this cool jungle atmosphere that you get thrown right into immediately. Gameplay is super familiar because you guys got those classic Assassin's Creed controls. If you played the series before, you're gonna be able to jump right into this game and take off running quite literally up some trees. You can run up trees. The graphics are graphics in this game you guys if you get on the xbox 360 you're gonna have xbox 360 graphics if you get it on the ps3 you're gonna get on the ps3 graphics but i look forward to seeing this on the ps4 and the xbox one so they could really take full advantage of some sweet water rendering you guys you're gonna be on the ocean you want to see some good ocean i had a chance to meet with the director of this game which was really cool because i got to talk to him about what games inspired him to make this and here's a little bonus nugget that you're only going to get from source fed nerd he based this game's layout on mario 64. he says that the ocean is kind of like the castle and the islands are like the different paintings. So keep that in mind as you're playing this. Something else cool in this game is the mini games that lie within it. You get to sit down and play checkers, like a full on game of checkers. You could bet, you can wager, make money that way. You guys, there are sea shanties and I definitely spent a good 15 to 20 minutes chasing a little musical note across rooftops. You get your Templar assassinations, your story missions, your temple runs, all your favorite things from all the past Assassin's Creed put into a lovely little pirate town of Havana. Now in previous games you play as Desmond who's lying down in an animus and reliving the life of his ancestors, but as we know, Desmond's gone. Now that Desmond's gone, the framework is a little different. In fact, even the visuals are very different because now you have a first person point of view, but really it's not important because if you're buying Assassin's Creed, you don't care about Desmond, you care about Ezio, you care about Connor, and now you care about Edward because this guy is a badass pirate dude who like immediately knows how to assassinate everybody. Not only is it beautiful and the controls are fun, but there are so many mini games in there. I couldn't wait to find all of them. Honestly, you guys, it's a huge time investment and it looks to be worth it. But don't just take my word for it because IGN gave this an 8.5 out of 10. Ubisoft wisely avoids the morose spaghetti bowl that Assassin's Creed plotlines have become in favor of a much lighter tale that embraces the adventuresome spirit of classic pirate stories. And Joystick gave it a 4 out of 5. And I gotta agree with it. I say buy this game, especially if you're a fan of the Assassin's Creed. It's just good. And let me tell you about that multiplayer, as Steve Zaragoza. So as for multiplayer, there really isn't much different from the previous Assassin's Creed iterations. You've got your artifact, which is basically a chaotic capture the flag, and when I played it, it was just a bunch of players running in together like craziness and then stabbing each other and then grabbing the flag. I mean, it really just seems like it's chaos. Once people play a lot more and actually dig into it, I'm sure there will be more strategy involved. So I really dug Manhunt, which is basically like hide and seek in the Assassin's Creed world. You basically start off as an assassin and you are assigned someone to murder, which is a person playing across the world or or next to you there's a co-op mode as well and you just kind of walk around the city trying not to be seen and then you kill the guy that's hiding and when it's your turn to be the hider you basically have to blend in with the crowds and kind of just and then boom, stun a motherfucker. As far as multiplayer goes for Black Flag, I was watching Ross play single player and it really is like one of those games where you're buying it for the single player experience and you're really gonna be digging into that campaign. And multiplayer really is just kind of like the cherry on top. It's kind of a big awesome bonus that there is a multiplayer mode in the game at all because single player is so meaty and awesome. Also, I was pleasantly surprised while watching Ross play the single player campaign that there's kind of like this overlap between single player and multiplayer. You can unlock cool multiplayer features in the single player game. I thought it was kind of nice. So one of the really cool additions to multiplayer mode in Black Flag is the Game Lab, which essentially lets you create your own Assassin's Creed multiplayer game, which is really, really cool. In Black Flag, there's a meter that shows you when you're getting closer to a target in the multiplayer mode. And I guess there were some fans that weren't really into that feature. Well, you can just turn that right off in the Game Lab. There really isn't much more to say about multiplayer. If you've played the other Assassin's Creed game multiplayer versions, then you're instantly going to recognize what's going on here. It's kind of more of the same, which is sort of a shame because you really want to see them pour 
pour the same amount of love into the multiplayer version of the game as they do into the single player, but it's okay, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So there you have it, you guys. That's our thoughts on Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. If for nothing else, go out and buy that game because you can play a sexy, sexy pirate lady. Yeah, yeah, you can live out that dream of wanting to be a sexy pirate lady that stuns the fuck out of people or stabs their throats. All the joy of having huge bosoms, none of the back pain. You know, they really, really messed out on naming their, like, Capture the Flag mode, Capture the Black Flag. Oh, you... Come on! Ubisoft! What are you doing? Ubisoft! Please like and subscribe to this video and channel if you haven't done those things already, or you can click on anything in this beautiful animated annotation Ooh, here, and you can oh. go see those things, including the FHP channel, with that all sorts of creative things. I just, I wanted to, I wanted to click it. It's, it's still baking. You can't stick your finger in the pie before it's done. Huh. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Ross Everett. We'll see you on the seas. Arr, matey, I got scurvy. You know, actually, that's one thing is that their teeth are beautiful in this game. They are, yeah. That's another their thing where you're like, beautiful. pirate my ass. Yeah.